guys. Hi guys. Hari ini ada di acara video press con and meet and greet bersama Peter Michael the Great Dan. Um, ini adalah rangkaian pertama dari dua hari acara ke depan. Yep. Setelah hari ini press conference and greet tadi Peter Michael dari Bojalan gitu ya makan yeah. rumah salam makan kue cucur kayaknya. Nah, Kita nggak tahu. Nah, besok Poros Salam berkesempatan untuk melakukan eksklusif interview. Yo. Selama setengah babak. Lama ya, 45 menit setengah ya. Setengah babak. Selama setengah babak. Uh, kemudian setelah itu Peter Michael akan ke Citos untuk menghadiri video premier festival. Yeah. Dari jam 9 pagi sebenarnya Sampai Terima kasih Michael Kayaknya ada tangan kasur ya So uh, Pantingin terus Poros Alam Dan jangan lupa Subscribe video Subscribe video Untuk pas depannya Jangan pakai link haram Lain Jangan lupa dibilang Ini ada telegram Linknya segala macam nah, Bayar lo, cuma 10 ribu Jangan Lo mendingan okay. Dukung video, video. video. Ya. Lebih bersih Tidak pakai bahasa Arab Dan okay. Aman nontonnya Gue buat, gue buat terus Baru dari Premier League dengan spirit kompetisi baru, lineup yang juga baru dan kesempatan yang baru bagi para klub untuk menjadi the Premier League champion. Mari kita berikan aplaus yang meriah rekan-rekan semua. Kita sambut sang legenda yang sudah lama dinanti. Hello Peter, welcome again. For me, it's always been important to let Casper do his work, let him grow within himself, and see how far he can take it. Bapak Virji ngapain ke sini? Tadi Coba nih. Ngapain Pak Virzi ngapain ke sini? Saya mau media-media lain. Enggak oh. kayak Poros Halang, Poros Halang kan bisa one on one atau two on one. Two on one. Ini bukan Sorry. Indotun Army ya? Indotun Army yeah. ditungguin ini. Kita enggak pakai one on one, Pak. Yeah. Kita trisam. <laughs> Waduh. Astagfirullahaladzim. <laughs> ini mau disensor enggak ini? <laughs> Ngabisin gue yang habis dibayar tadi sama klien. Mewah, mewah buat mewah. 
Kalau cuma tanya mereka, lu mau makan apa? Kita punya duit sekian, abisin. Poros salah. Thank you warga Poros. Thank you Poros. Ada Pak Prot. Ada sah sahabat gua orang baik. Pak Korda. My best friend. Dan ada sahabatnya Ari. Ari mana? Okay. Ari tulang? Ya, Ari tulang. Oh iya. Show management. Ya. Halo warga Poros. Halo. Kami malam ini ada di Citos. Citos. Cilada Town Square. Citos. Di acara apa apa apa. Video apa? Premier League Festival. Nah, ada di situ tulis aja. Video ya. Premier League Festival yang mendekati jam-jam munculnya Peter, Peter Michael, Michael dan ramai banget guys. Ramai banget. Ramai banget guys. Dan Tadi acara ada itu, band. Acara itu, acara itu seru banget guys. Seru banget. Tadi ada rumah sakit. Fatmawati. Dekat lagi Fatmawati. Ya, kemudian ada nanti akan nanti ada, ada Saikoji. Saikoji dan Marion Jola. Yo, eh. Tahu enggak kan lagunya? Enggak tahu. <laughs> Lagu Saikoji? Saikoji tahu dong. Apa? Itu apa ya pager-pageran ya? <laughs> Pager-pageran ana. Udah lah pokoknya itu dah. Ya, pokoknya jadi, ini acara rame banget di video banget. Premier League Festival, Festival di Cilanda Town Square. And we're having a good time. Ya, we're having ya, banyak good food dari komunitas, komunitas. ada UI Jakarta. Unit UI Jakarta. Masa UI Indonesia, Indonesia katanya? UI Indonesia Jakarta. Nah, itu yang benar nah. ya. Soalnya kan beda nih. Biar ribut sekalian enggak apa-apa. Pak gue. Enggak, tapi ada semua komunitas ada di sini. Ada ada Jakarta ada, Blues, ada Jakarta ada Blues, Arsenal, CSC, di belakang. Ada apa? Indomanut ya. Indomanut ya, banyak, banyak. banyak dan ini adalah rangkaian penutup dari acara Peter Michael uh, Comes to Indonesia. Nah. Peter ya, Michael ke video. Ya, Peter Michael ke video dan dalam rangka uh, menyambut musim baru IPL nanti. Yep. Jadi kalian jangan beli link haram. No. Jangan nyari bajakan. Ya, beli di video paketnya cuma dua puluh ribu. Dua ribu bisa, bisa nonton, nonton di... di semua device. Enggak, itu cuma di, di... IPL, tapi IPL, semua device. Ya. Untuk lebih lengkapnya, cek di at Video Sport. Yep. Oke. Okay? Oke. Okay. Gua buat. Gua Patrick. Thank you warga Poros. Bye guys. Halo warga Poros, hari ini kami bersama dengan The Legendary The Great Dan <laughs> Peter Michael Hello. Hello. Would you like some words to our subscribers? Hello Warga Warga Poros Warga Poros Halo oh. warga Poros, disapa langsung sama Peter Michael <laughs> Jadi jangan enteng-enteng, sombong-sombong ini ya Jangan ya, udah sama Peter Michael kami Peter sama Michael okay. kami This just uh, some question First, yeah. I want to ask about Denmark Your country. Good, good start. Good start. Good start. I know. Back in the '92, yes, your team came to the tournament as the substitute, right? Yugoslavia got cancelled, and you then, can call it a substitute, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, where did you, when the coach called that to, apa to tell you that we are going to play in the Euro? Yeah. Where were you? I was with the coach. You win and the, the team. Oh yeah? Mm. Yeah, because How we... Um, because um, CIS, which was you yeah. know, Russia, Russia were also in the tournament. And yeah. their last game before going to Sweden was against us. Yes. So we came back from our clubs and uh, we trained in the morning mm. with a coach mm. uh, for this game. We were not in camp. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was one of those days where we trained and he said... Uh, we are going to the Euro. No, he, no? he said there are, there are talks about the international community will exclude Yugoslavia from a, you know, everything. And if it happens... Um, we had a change. W we, we, might have, we might be the ones that have to go to Sweden. Okay. Uh, so from that moment on, we, we started to train even more. Okay. And then two or three days later, it was, uh, it was announced. announced. And then we went straight to camp. Uh, so we were not on the beaches. <laughs> no, yeah, we weren't. How, how do you feel? 
back then? Yes. I, th- I, I was a li- I'll tell you what, it, for me it was a little bit mixed. Okay. Because I've I've just finished my first season with Manchester United. Yeah. And we we threw away the championship in the last couple of weeks. And I was a little bit tired of football. It was my first the first time I played all the way through the winter and everything. Because where I came from, we always had like three months break yeah. because yeah. of the weather. So I was physically and mentally drained. Yeah. I didn't want to play against the CIS, you know. I didn't, you know, why are we playing this game? Uh, I just wanted to have, you know, a break from football and then regroup and recharge the batteries for the next season. And, you know, we, we hadn't qualified. We didn't have the excitement of the build-up. Mm. To be part of a European Championship or a World Cup, the build-up is it's as exciting as the actual yeah. went, event. We didn't have that and, and, you know, we had players, we had players who said, I'm on holiday, I'm, I'm going to go on holiday, you know, at my family and they went and um, bad for them. But that, that the atmosphere around having to go to a big tournament wasn't there. That's your and first biggest tournament, right, for Denmark? No, no, no I, was in, uh, I was in the 88 European uh, 88 Champions. European Championship. Yeah. Hmm. So, so um, and half of the team actually played Mm. in Denmark and the last game the last game in the Danish league was on the Sunday where we played the first game against England on yeah. the Thursday I think so that's how close the whole thing was and you know we were in many ways completely unprepared the the kit sponsor Hummel mm. didn't even have kit for us okay. we mm. the, we uh, we were using for the first game we were using the under 21s kit because mm. they were going to a tournament um so everything was unprepared and it was like, mm, do we really, I mean, but we also felt because of, because of the international community's decision to do that, mm. we also felt great responsibility to go and do well and go and do it. Um, and the sad thing is that the Yugoslavian players were already in Sweden yeah. mm. and we literally came and took their uh, facilities. Um, and I felt so sorry for them, really. Um, so in many ways, we also felt that responsibility to go and do well. But mm. you know, we were in the same group as England, Sweden, and France. Yeah, France. It was, it and was also very difficult. Uh, Netherlands in the semi-final, right? Semi-final, yeah. Was there any belief at the time from your team that we're gonna win the champion? No, I. Th- in the beginning, it was. Uh, it was. We didn't know really where we were. We, we knew we were not a bad team because the reason we didn't qualify directly was the first yeah. two games, there were a lot of trouble in, in the squad. Yeah. The first two games of qualification, and one of them was against yeah. Yugoslavia, we got one point. That was yeah. it. From there on, we won the rest. We even went to Yugoslavia and beat them there. Yeah. So we knew we were quite a good team. Um, but again, it comes down to preparation. Yeah. Uh, and. And so we didn't know, we, you know, we actually didn't know where we were. But then we play England in the first game and we drew nil nil and yeah. we missed chances. We could have won that game and we sat in the dressing room, we're disappointed not having won against England. <laughs> and that was the first clue for me that, hey, there's something here. Yeah. Only to go to Stockholm the next game and lose to Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we were, we were very lucky because the way the other results were, um, if we won the last game, last game. we would go on, yeah. and we did. And in semi-final, you saved the penalty from Van Basten, right? Yeah. How yeah. did you feel? That felt quite good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was probably the best game of the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It was. Um, yeah, it was. Of course, it's when you when you're up and you get caught back, and you're up and you get caught back. It's not so great, mm. but eventually you win it on penalties and. Uh, it's a very sweet way to win a game. Mm. It's a terrible, terrible way to lose a game. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was. And and once we got to that point, you think yes, we have a chance to win it. So we so we now beaten France. France. They were the favourites. Yeah. We've beaten the defending, defending champions, champions, and we're now going to play the world champions in, in the final. Denmark, uh, Germany. And we have. Uh, everyone but one player from the back four injured everyone Um, so we think (laughs) 
how can we win that? Okay. But I don't know. It's something happened. Something happened, and sometimes you can't explain it. Some, some, you know, you, you prepare and you prepare and you prepare, and and it doesn't go well. And then this one time we didn't prepare at all, and then it just went really, really well. So, um, yeah. So can I say that you have a special relationship with a lady luck? A miracle in '92, and then '99 with you. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, no, you, you don't get, you, d you never get that lucky. <laughs> you have to look for that luck, you have to work, work hard. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I think your telephone is ringing. <laughs> okay, one last question, <laughs> Poro Salang, uh, before we run out of time. Uh, you mentioned in the uh, previous press and things like that that you were interested in managing. And yeah. yesterday, during your uh, here, you also mentioned that you gave a little tips and tricks uh, on the last three games of Casper's game with uh, uh, during the championship season. Is there a, a possibility that we'd be seeing manager Peter, no. Peter Michael? No. No? You're not no. I, I, uh, I actually gave that up a long time ago. Mm. Um, it, it, I think the job now is, it's not, if, if you go for money, yeah, it's, a, it's very attractive, mm -hmm. but what would interest me in management or coaching was to develop, to, to create, you know, have ideas about football, see if you could, you know, introduce them into uh, to the game and actually be successful with that. But that requires a lot of time and you don't get time these days. Hmm. I think I think that, of, of course, uh, Klopp and, and Pep are the longest serving managers yeah. in the Premier League. But I think the next one is Thomas Frank from Brentford. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, that just tells you that, you know, Chelsea had three managers last yeah. season. You don't get time. And it's, when you don't get time, it's really not attractive enough for me. Mm. I want to, I want, I wanted to build and, because I'm in love with the game. I'm in love with football. Not so much the position or the money or, I'm in love with, with you know, watching really, really good football. See players develop and, and, uh, you know, seeing a young kid with talent developing that player into a proper football player. Mm. That would be the attraction for me. Um, so it, it's a long time. And also I'm still very, very, very connected, very close to football with my work. So I don't feel left out of the game, if that makes sense. So I kind of found a really good balance about what I want to do and how I wanted to be connected. and. Um, for instance, I don't get to be here talking to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so okay. that that's a bonus of my life. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Peter, for making uh, time for us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. We really enjoy the time with you, your thought and yeah. your sharing of your memory. Thank you. And untuk kalian yang udah nonton, terima kasih. Yeah. Jangan lupa nonton Premier League di video. Mm -hmm. Dan pastikan apa, Pat? Pastikan kalian subscribe. Uh, untuk berlangganan pasti kan beli paketnya dulu beli dong. paketnya yeah. ya, paketnya juga murah meriah ada yang 25 ribu bisa lo tonton di alat-alat uh, lo tapi kalau mau ngambil untuk satu musim juga bisa yeah. tontonan yang berkualitas di video tonton yang resmi-resmi aja yeah, resmi. eksklusif konten for pors halang terima kasih how, how to say thank you in Denmark tak 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 Michael tak tak Michael you're welcome Really nice to meet you. How do you say well, you're welcome? Welcome. Welcome. Well welcome. Be welcome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih sudah menonton uh, interview gua dan Patrick sama dengan Peter. Untuk warga Poros, we love you all. Bye. Tangan gua dingin, cuy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.